Hashtag the GES crew. You know, why is the is the blue collar overlooked? Has IG just decided, you know, because of IG, is that overlooked the blue collar jobs? It, it, these are some really, really good opportunities out there. HVAC is definitely one. I mean, you can, you can make, you know, 60 or better, 50 or better. You know what I'm saying? Which is half a hundred, but out the gate as an 18 year old, that's some good. And it's going to be some training that you're going to have to take, but it ain't going to be four years. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a generational thing. Man. I mean, because, you know, younger people, they're not thinking, well, hey, look, I want to roll up my sleeves, sweat, get dirty to get paid. The mindset is, hey, um, I want to work the least amount I can and earn the most. You know, that's just the mindset. It's like, you know. See, but you know what, Sean? That's the conversation. I know when I would talk to, to Ro, I mean, early on in life, that was all I used to say. I said, look, if you're going to be at work, you need to get the most that you can get while you're there. I've always said that. That is the mindset to have. That's the mindset to have. I mean, it's but not I'm gonna go and it. just take this uh, minimum wage job. The mindset is I'm a, if I'm here, let me get the most that I can get while I'm here. But you were saying about these these jobs where you know like HVAC and all that stuff like that. That earn, but you can't. You 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 you're gonna get dirty doing it. You're gonna go through doing it. You know when my um. My mom, she got um, the guys to um, you know to fix her a- AC. You going to, you going up in a hot hot roof? I mean, a hot attic. Oh, yeah. That, that, you coming out that jink dripping like you there going been in a doggone storm. Well, I just I think it's an all in the presentation as a mentor, and you got young men coming up that you're mentoring or young women that you're mentoring. These are conversations that you have because if I had somebody to tell me when I came out of high school. Why don't you become a real estate agent? You can do this, that, this, and the third. I'd be a real estate agent. I didn't know. Coming out of high school, I did not know. I didn't have somebody give me any direction. And that's why I was so involved with my daughter's education. And I'm, and I'm involved with the two young men that I have now because I need them to know. Like, these are the options. Yeah, you might not want to get dirty, but look, in the long run, if you looking down the road, this might be a better option than college for you. And, I mean, and you, you, so th- I'm trying to make sure that they have something that I didn't have because I know for certain if I had a mentor to tell me these things, I would have went a different path, man. But see, that's and that's the difference because we, when we were coming up, we didn't have that that parent. I, I know I didn't have that parent that said, "Hey, look, well, you know, won't you pre- consider this? Won't you consider that?" That thing, all it was was you get 18, you get an out, you know, it was no such thing as, OK, well, hey, you just get a, you, it's a 18, get a job and get out. That's it. You know, it wasn't no, OK, well, hey, I'm going to I, 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 I'm going to help you find out what you really want to do, even though I knew what I wanted to do when I, um you know, since, you know, since I was a little kid, I knew what I wanted to do. But the the desire to try to develop and, 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 and um try, try to hone that they did it that wasn't that wasn't um thing that they did. That that desire just came from me myself. But that's mm-hmm. why you as a parent, you understand that. So that's why you doing what you you being involved in your kids. Like just like Big was being being involved in his children's life. You know, y'all y'all know now that a parents need to be a little more involved in trying to steer your kids into a direction where they can be able to get something and be successful or be at least um sustainable be able to sustain their lives you know so it's Mm -hmm. we just didn't have that i feel like i feel like in today's times you know times are so different than than when we were coming through um it's 2021 you know when we we were growing up it was it was 90s you know 89 90 91 92 or whatever i think now you have to not only teach but encourage and show that there's more than one hustle right we're talking about going to college okay while you're in college and 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 while you're doing this 
you might want you need to open this lane also. So say, <clears throat> say you're going to you want to be a doctor. OK, like said, he wants to be a cardiologist. Right. So while he's in the if your major is going to be that you need to take some finance courses at the same time. Don't just focus on one hustle. So while you're pursuing cardiology, you're learning how to make your money work for you where you can pay off your debt and still finance your dreams at the same time. You know, we as a culture, we, we got this singular focus and we need to we need to change that because the times have changed. Hey, bruh, if school ain't for you, when you go learn it, why you going to learn this HVAC training? Once you get in this HVAC training, take a peek at getting your CDLs too. Mm -hmm. If the CDL path is the shorter path, get the CDL first. That way you can drive trucks and then you can go do the HVAC thing. Because even if you get your CDLs, you can drive for six months and then you could get a whole nother truck and not even be in the truck. And you, while you're doing your HVAC thing, a truck could be making you money. Sure did. You know, so it's instead of just instead of, we 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 got to get out of this popcorn, this microwave popcorn mentality where where these kids want everything yesterday. Right, and it's a, pro it's a I think it's, it's a process. A process. Too, yeah, it's a process to all to start of building early on. But sometimes, and I think as parents, we need to create levels of exposure. Okay, different mm -hmm. levels of exposure. When I was coming up, I had so many things I wanted to do. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be, a, you know, I want to be all this stuff, you know. But uh, along the way, I just kind of uh, found my way, and I understood that it's not necessarily what you do; it's how you do it and how you can make money in it. I mean, you I'm, found you, you found your lane. Well, yes. I mean, I, I you know, you know, I was in the mortgage business, and that you know, the market crashed, and my job was eliminated. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, and I had, from, from my view, I had reached one of the highest levels that I, where I wanted to be financially anyway, not necessarily position wise, but financially. And I was like, man, okay, boom, I'm at a, I'm at a position right now. I worked, you know, 12 years to get here. And now I'm in a position where, um, right now at this point going forward, money won't be an issue. My kids can go to any college in the country and it's not going to be an issue. And to be at that point and then have that uh, rug snatched from under you because the market crashed, you got to be aware of the market too, mm -hmm. of what you're doing. Um, but you got to pivot. I mean, now I'm, I'm a solopreneur. I'm in logistics, you know, but I'm doing it differently than necessarily someone that's working for FedEx or UPS or someone like that because I'm self-employed. So I, my my earning is is at a different level because I'm a partner as opposed to a worker. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so it's, it's so many things, and it's like you know, young people. I say, I, and I said this before, and I always will say it again. When you see guys like us that got this gray, or you know, we much older than you. You know, we might be twice your age. You can have a conversation, man. We can have a conversation. You know. We can have a conversation, especially if you're trying to, if you're just unsure about something and you need, you know, you're trying to find a way or what something I can do. We just rattled off a bunch of stuff that you could do. What you have to be open to is changing your ways about how you think, because what your, your current, and this is for everyone, nobody's current thought process can take them to another level. Your current pro thought process keeps you where you are. That's where you'll be. In order to go to another level, you have to expand your thought process. And sometimes you can't do that without someone helping you, bringing you along into a different space and showing you some things that you've never seen. So just be aware of that. We're out there. We're here. We're we approachable. We want, we want to see our younger generation do well and do better than what we did. It would do, man, if I could find a young kid that's, uh, you know, whatever, 18 years old, and they come in and they do, they ask me, well, look, 
I know you make a, a, a good income. You know, how can I do that? I give you the, I give you the blueprint. I give you the blueprint, show you what you need to do, how you need to do it. All you got to go do is do it. And that's what, uh, you know, that's what we're here for. So we talked a little bit. We talked about uh, quite a few things, actually. But uh, one thing I, I want to ask now, if 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 the high school senior uh, wants to or needs to attend college, what are some, you know, for their desire feel, what are some real life ways to have it be paid for or greatly reduce the debt? And I know earlier Raymond mentioned the military. The GI Bill is something that's great because, you know, kids can go right into um, talk more a little bit about it. Raymond, you're the military guy on the show. Um, you have to be willing to. Uh, it's almost like it's uh, college in itself, but it's on the job training and it's just at a cost of, you know, are you willing to sacrifice a lot, which means time away from family, time away from relationships, uh, and potentially, and I just got to keep it real, your life. Because going into that type of field, you have to be in there and go in with the knowledge that, hey, those things are possible to happen, you know, and but there's so much more application, life application that happens in that that will allow you to be able to learn what you need to learn about being on your own, dealing with other cultures being able to um, address your peers in the proper way, being able to um, <clears throat> learn those basic skills, you know, because you can get you can get a lot from 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 the military. But with that, it does allow you the opportunity to go to, to have that money to go to go to school, but you have to one go for four years and you could go in the reserves and do six years and go to school in the in the midst of that so when you when while you're serving you know a weekend a month and doing two weeks out of the year you'll be able to go to school in the in the middle in the midst of that so you'll you'll be you'll have those opportunities available to you let me let me ask you a question, Sean. <clears throat> um, how important in the military? Because I know if you're going in, if you're going in active, you said for four years. So pretty much you you have the opportunity to live in the barracks or on the boat or whatever. So essentially you can save quite a bit of money on your own as well, if you're not out, if, you know. Well, <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you know, but you have the opportunity because your housing is free. Your 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 your, yeah, your, your if, room if and board is free. If you're disciplined enough to be able to have a plan in your mind and say, okay, well, look, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be in four years. I'm just gonna try to keep my life as simple as possible mm -hmm. uh, to not include children and uh, marriage. If you can hold that off until at least you go get towards the end then yeah but i've seen a lot of times where you know guys go in and you know they'll find somebody and get married have kids so let, let me throw this scenario let me let me throw this scenario out there because I, I know that too they you know sometimes you, you find love in a way you never found it before we're gonna leave that where it is <laughs> in <Norfolk>. but, <laughs> but Look at this magic pill. Just in this conversation, this is just how my, my, my mind works. You go in the military for four years. You get access to the GI Bill. Am I right? Okay, so you can go to school. Your kid can go to school off of it, too. Is that right? 
Yeah, if um you uh if they're if they're I think it's is uh it's, it's, if they're like they they grown they they birthed into it or something like that like birthed okay. into the um you know we'll we'll, we'll we'll skip that so we'll just say we'll just say for the for the okay. the, the young for eighteen the year old we're just gonna say for the young eighteen year old you go in the military you sign up for four years um enlisted you enlist for four years you complete with a with a um honorable discharge or if you stay in let's just say you do the four years you got an opportunity to eat for free live for free you can save all that money now if you go in i ain't gonna say all of it because you know you gotta spend some but if you go in and you pick the right job if you pick the right job when you come out no it's not like that if it don't you, on, don't you it have to test on, into it, a, that's what i'm about to tell you okay go ahead if you pass the ASVAB with a certain score, then you're able, if the higher the score, the easier or the, uh, the availability to pick what you want. Mm -hmm. Now that's the only, you know, clause to that, you know? So if you, if your score is like eh, medium average or whatever, they're gonna say, this is the type of career. They're gonna give you a list of, a list of choices that you can choose from. But mm -hmm. most of the time it's like, if it's like barely making it, they're just gonna throw you in a they're gonna throw you in a, a career they think that you should you, you can you can benefit from. Boom, you go in this, you go in that, based on your scores. Okay. And and nowadays is it still you do twenty and you can retire? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it, it is. I know, I know, it's twenty for 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 um Active. full time, and I think it's thirty. <clears throat> Or reserves. Okay. All right. So that's uh, another uh, idea opportunity as well. And even if, let's say, for instance, if you've already put in the four and you decide that you want to yeah. go that's another a, career. That's a career you, choice too because you yeah. can go, you can go, um, say you can go to officer's training, you know, so that's mm -hmm. going to increase your pay tremendously as well. That's like going from blue collar military to white collar yeah. military you know um but also if you were to go into another um civilian career and let's say after you did your four years active you decided to go reservist that's extra income it's one weekend a month two weeks out of the year and if you decide to go like i was saying going to um civilian civilian uh you know of civilian career like for the government mm -hmm. those years that you did in the military are grandfathered into that that career that you're going into so that's another way you be able to you can you know, capitalize you 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 can capitalize really well and you also look at a early retirement age so you know if someone can go in at 18 and they have a, a good career they stay for the the minimum twenty requirement to retire, you're retired at thirty eight years old. Now, of course, that don't mean you know you probably you're probably going to continue to work. But look, what you're not starting every month at zero. You've got a retirement, and in addition to that, you've got your health care um, paid for, which is extremely expensive out here in the civilian world, um, and you've also got other um, benefits that come from being part of the military. Um, but that's one thing that you can, because we, we were talking about some things that you could do, um, you know, some alternative paths as well. You know, things cost. Everybody that want to go, people want to go to college because a lot of people see college as this magic pill. It's not. All it is is a ticket to, an, to another door, potentially. It, it's a ticket. You still got to get it in and sell it. Yes. You still have to go hustle. Like just because you went to college, is there's no free ride anywhere. And I just want that to be clear. And that's why sometimes you'll find people that didn't go to college and don't have what they call a college education because I don't I don't always refer to it as that people say, Oh, he educated. Because education is something when you learn something and can apply it. Everybody that went to went to college because they got a degree don't necessarily mean they're educated. It means they passed some courses and they finished the path. 
but sometimes people don't know how to apply it. So that's where we are um, in our society. I think what we're doing, uh, I think we got some great things here, some great, great conversation today. I hope this was beneficial to you guys out there in the audience because we're trying to position um, the people that lock in to go to another level and help some other people go to another level. This is collaborative. We come with the topics, we come with the conversation, but it's not supposed to stay here and stop here. It's supposed to go out into the community and grow and start developing our people. That's the whole focal point of why we do this. We're doing this so we can strengthen our community. And we hope you guys get benefit from it. Hey, thanks again for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this week's episode, please check out some of our previous that may be here, 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 or here. I'm not real sure. But anyway, please get the, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when we drop any other content. Until next week, peace. Peace.